today I are mostly be prepping tropium. Got this one a while ago. Nice sized beast down the beach. Unfortunately it broke. You can see it had a good beating and uh, I lost the piece. I'm an idiot. I left it on the beach. Really I should have filled this with some powdered matrix before I just cheat and mix up some uh, what you call it Mr. Milliput. That's done the whole bit, it's too dark. I should have mixed it with something. Um, usually with me a uh, tropeum. I like to use a bit of clear boot polish just to bring out the colour and a couple of times I've used a bit of black boot polish. As you can see it's lighter here than what it is between the, on top of the ribs. Between here was originally black. These tropium have got a very thin layer of nice black thin skin and it's easily washed and rubbed off during cleaning and this was a pig to prep. So I'm going to try and recolour between there a little and try and colour match this a bit with some boot polish. Mr Kiwi. Not a lot left so I don't know how far we're going to get. I've also got some Russian stuff I found on the beach. I think it's boot polish. Sort of smells like boot polish. I've already given it a little go on the back. Definitely doesn't spread like our boot polish. But it's not black. No matter how much I think I can read, read Russian, I'm dyslexic. It doesn't make me able to read Russian. So yeah, this is brown I think. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this. But I'll flip her over and show you the colour. Monstro. Oh. It's not a bad colour. They do come out a nice rusty brown anyway. Usually on the back. Look at that gap. Nice open coiled ammonite. Covered in shells. Uh, best thing before using like a boot polish it's just to warm warm it up a little usually I'd use my blowtorch but I've run out of gas Tiny bit of warmth to it. That's how it's the boot polish going a little. Just adding a little bit so I can build up on it. A little bit down here where there's dark patches start just blending it in. Definitely looking a bit more like it should look.
once that's dried and we give it a rub off it will end up a bit lighter there. we'll get in there afterwards once we've darkened up everything that used to be dark gonna go over it with a little bit of beeswax to try and bring out the nice colour of these uh, oysters that were all clammed onto it That's gone quite well. Boot polish has gone quite far, only a little bit has been used. It only got a little bit needs to go far. So you're just highlighted back where it was. Exactly the same colour as the rib pretty much. A few little chisel scars. Oh no, that's not a chisel scar, that's a Oyster. There's my chisel scars. Boot polish covered them up a little bit. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a go with the hot air gun. Just to get the stuff to soak it in a bit better. Tear gun seems to be working. Ish. Usually I'd like to use a good old blowtorch and that warms up, sucks it straight in. But just run out of gas. Let's see how much we can get out of this. Uh, still a little gas. Nearly run out. Just like to heat it up with the gas, the heat helps it suck into the rock a bit better, into the fossil. Plus I'm a pyromaniac and I love a good bit of fire. Isn't it? Which this isn't, this thing is almost goners. Not bad, I've had it nearly 15 years, probably longer. Nearly 20 years. Yeah, she's a goner. She did. Oh, just let that dry out. And we'll give it a rub down. A little buff off, take some of the uh, polish away. Before I go and buff this off, I might as well stick a bit of beeswax onto these oysters and this little bit of matrix here an oyster first not really used this beeswax that much before well once before works pretty well not used it on these though I've used it on nice little little calcite green ammonite from Dorset I've just buffed this with sandpaper 
and then a little go with some of this beeswax and it's come up quite nice. That's another day. Try a bit of this beeswax then. As well, getting these little bits, little bits of ribs that I've missed with the polish. This beeswax is going into it much nicer. A little bit more for these oysters here. An the oyster there. She stinks. Good job I got the extractor going. I'll just rub up what's left on that. Actually, I don't want to get that onto the black stuff. On black, getting them a nice beeswax only brush. Got my get her off brush. Start trying to take some of this black boot polish off. Polish has done the trick, looks a lot better, a million times better than what it did, especially that black patch. Much more pleasing, nice colour, nice shine to it. You see this black one here, she's a bit dusty, not finished or cleaned. Much more the colour it should have been. she be. The other side. Just left the stone. I could just give the other side a try just for that beeswax. See what the difference is to the other side. Now that beeswax polish, that coat is uncovered lovely compared to using the clear boot polish I'd usually use, so definitely recommend the old Bry Wax beeswax. So I'll give her a quick uh, buff off. Just 
take the excess off. This has all been buffed off, nice and shiny. Pretty nice colour, nice natural colour. So, what do we like best? Oy, Christ, that weighs a ton. The black member. I don't know. Black Mamba's okay, it's covering it, it's hiding that. This is gonna be the back anyway, I think. Not sure. Which side do I look at in the, in the lounge? She's a beauty. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.